are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Ryan and Sam, as most of you know, have been dating about eight years. And uh, I, I honestly can't remember when Ryan wasn't part of the family. We didn't consider him part of the family. He just absolutely fits in like a glove. And uh, Mark and Kathy, you raised a heck of a kid. Uh, really, I really mean that. And uh, we are just so happy that Samantha has him for husband. different strengths and they're going to come together in the same way that Jesus sacrificed himself we're going to see them each give up their own selves in a way give up their own desires for the greater good of their marriage my prayer for you guys is that God would be that centerpiece in your relationship um, that you know I think about a triangle with the, the two of you at the bottom of the triangle with God at the top and as you guys get closer to God and seek Him and move up towards Him, you're actually moving closer to each other as well in a kind of special and beautiful way. Who presents this woman to be married to this man? mother and I do. These vows are a holy uh, and sacred part of the wedding as Sam and Ryan make vows to each other before God. I, Ryan, take you, Samantha, to be my wife. And I do promise before God and these witnesses to be your loving and faithful husband. I, Samantha, take you, Ryan, to be my husband, to be my husband, in sickness and in health, as long as we both shall live. With all that I am and all that I have, I honor you. that we've graduated from screaming matches in our parents' hallway to now just calling each other out on social media when we see the other sister photographed in something that was borrowed without asking. <laughs> and in college, my friends looked forward to her Syracuse visits, but never as much as I did. And as we got older, I felt proud when mistaken as Sam, because to me, that's the greatest compliment. We've shared the best moments together. Graduations, engagements, weddings, babies, and standing by her today, which was the greatest honor and privilege. My 
Angelou once said that life is not how many breaths you take, but it's the moments that take your breath away. And uh, I can tell you guys, walking your daughter down the aisle is, is just one of those events. And uh, I just hope every father in this room has the opportunity to go and do that. We've got to do it twice now. And, and I got to tell you, the part I'm saddest about, actually the part I'm happiest about, is that she's now on Ryan's payroll. <laughs> Ryan and Sam, I wish you guys the absolute best. May your marriage include plenty of break and bake cookies and dirty martinis. And I'd like everybody to raise a glass and join me in a toast for Ryan and Sam. Here's to new beginnings. And may your marriage exceed all of your wildest hopes and dreams. May it be filled with happiness and love and laughter and joy. All right, here's to my son-in-law, Ryan, and my daughter, Samantha. Congratulations.